All right. We will be beginning lesson 4.2 into math for fifth grade. Interpret numerical expressions. I can compare numerical expressions which are written with one expression in terms of the other. Spark your learning. Michael has handed along to a remote control club. They replace the batteries in their cars once a week. How does the number of batteries Michael and Sandra use in three weeks compared to the number of batteries they use in one week? Compare the number of batteries they use. Draw to show your thinking. So we're going to use this picture. And then um, for one week, how does the number of batteries Michael and Sandra use in three weeks compare to the number of batteries they use in one week? So we're going to use the picture, right? And which one has the three? Sandra, right? And then Michael has two, right? Okay. So Michael has two in a week, right? Sandra has three in a week. Okay. So for three weeks, he would have Two, right? Okay. And then she has three each week, right? She has three batteries in three weeks. This is your depiction of one week. And this is your depiction of three weeks. Okay. okay, so basically what we said was we showed, we showed our um, picture for one week, how many batteries they used, right? And then we grouped our other part for, um, for the three weeks, right? Okay, so basically they used three times as many batteries that they did in one week, one week okay? In three weeks. They used three times as many batteries as one week. So write a numerical expression to model the number of batteries they use in one week and in three weeks. So in one week, we would have to do what? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Just add, right? So the first week would be two plus three, right? So two for Michael and three for Sandra. And then for three weeks, we put what? Well, three, right? Three times because we had three weeks. And then we still have our same equation, right? That we originally started with. And then that goes in parentheses. And then the parentheses means what, guys? That when we went to solve it, that we would do that step first, right? Okay. Building understanding, the remote control club has two runways where airplanes take off. The size of the runways are shown on the map. How can you model the area of runway one using a numerical expression? Okay, so what would we do to find the area of map one? In case of 16 times nine, or with that, it could also be written as nine times 16, right? You could go either way since it's multiplication. How can you model the area of runway 2 using a numerical expression? So 3 times 16, or we could do 16 times 3, because it can be either way, right? So if you have multiplication, describe the length of each runway, okay? So, basically, what can we do? Both of them are what? What's the length of both of them? Okay, so both weeks 
16 yards. Compare the width of the runway, okay? So the width of this one is 3, and the width of that one is 9. So, so the width of runway, which one's bigger? Of runway one is how much? And it's three times the width of one way two. Compare the areas of the runway without evaluating them. Okay, so if you have the length the same and you have um, the width that is three times more, would the area also be three times more? Yeah, yeah. okay, because you have two common factors, right? Okay, and so those kind of cancel each other out. So now the only factors you're comparing them are the width, right? Okay, so the width, or the width, of runway one is, or not the width, sorry, the area. Is what do you say? Three times as much as three times. The area of runway two. So compare the numerical expressions that model the area of each runway. Explain your reasoning. So we said the numerical expressions are three times each other because nine is three times more than three. Mr. Wu follows the directions shown when he buys his remote control plane. Okay, so over here we have to use the directions that they give us in the little manual, right? Add 50 milliliters of oil daily, add 5 milliliters of oil for each flight. Okay, so how can you model the amount of oil he needs for one flight of one airplane using a numerical expression? So each day he needs what? So 15, so 15, and then am I adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing? I'm adding, because then he did one flight, which caused him to add how much more? Five. How can you model the amount of oil he needs for one flight of four airplanes using a numerical expression? Okay, so 15 times. Well, what does what does he need every day? Fifteen plus five. Okay. And then how many airplanes did he do? Plus five times four. Times four. Okay. Now can we also put the um the parentheses first and then the times four at the end? Yeah, in this case, you could have done it either way, but we will just identify how many he had first, okay? How do the numerical expressions from part A and B compare? So what, what, how are they comparing? They both have 15. Well, they both have 15 plus 5, so that kind of cancels each other out a little bit, right? So what is being done then? So letter B is what? is four times more, right? Okay, so 
expression. B is four times more than A because both have fifteen plus five, comma, but B is multiplied. Five, four. So that's my understanding. Each month for two months, Kyle buys a pack of eight replacement tires for his remote control car. At the end of each month, he has one tire left. Explain how the numerical expression for the number of tires Kyle uses in two months compared to the numerical expression for the number of tires he uses in one month. So we said after one month, our numerical expression would be eight minus one. Since he had eight replacement tires and had one left after the month, then we wrote a new expression of two times parentheses eight minus one because we now went two months down. So after we came up with that, after two months, Kyle has twice as many tires left. Okay, so they want us to compare the numerical expressions 28 times six times four and 14 times 6. So what is common in both of those expressions? They both have, six. They both have the multiplication times 6, right? Okay, so we're going to compare the 28 and the 14. So what is the difference? 14 is 2 times. Yeah. So 28 is 2 times larger than 14, right? So to explain the comparison, we put both expressions have times six, but 28 is twice as much as 14. Okay, so the next one we have three times parentheses eight plus six and eight plus six for the other numerical expression. So what do both numerical expressions hold? Eight plus six, right? Okay, so basically those kind of cancel each other out, right? So what is the difference between the two? The first one has times three, right? So it's three times as much. So to explain our um, comparison, we put the first expression is three times as much as the other one because both have eight plus six. On your own, critique reads me. James is making banners for his club's airplanes to pull. Each banner is five feet long and is attached by a ten foot long rope. He models the total length of the banners and rope for six airplanes with the numerical expression six times five plus ten. He says the total length for six planes is five times as great as the total length needed for one plane. Correct his error. Okay, so we identified in order for him to correct it, James should have said six times as great for the total length. We compare the numerical expressions. So this is just like what we did a little bit ago, right? Yeah. And we're going to see what they have similar and then um, see what is different to compare them. So 33 plus 67 and 9 times 33 plus 67. So both share what in common? 33 plus 67. So basically the second expression is 9 times larger than the first. Okay, so for the next one, we have 4 times 2,001 minus 987. And for the second, we have 2,101 minus 987. So what is our um, comparison? Okay, so both have 2,101 minus 987. So the, so the first one is four times more than the second one. Number seven, explain how 56 times nine compares to eight times nine. So we said that both expressions have times nine, but 56 is seven times more than eight. Okay. 